off, we gon' have fun. Mm. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, incredible. Outstanding. Official Miss Jamaica. Walk on, you know, my dad. Hey, man. And, you know, uh, guys, uh, we, this guy here, he's been on the show before. Um, he really don't need an introduction. He's one of those guys that, um, you know, every time he comes here, it's a delight. The energy that he brings, he always got some new music. He's not just out here proclaiming to be an artist. He really goes out and he really gives his all when he goes and do all this work. He come back with it, and we always enjoy just uh, looking over what he has done. Incredible body of work. This guy, Austin Grand. Grand. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to Grand World. <laughs> yes, yes. That's what I like to say. But uh, it feels good to be home, and yeah. uh, mom and dad are here. Hey. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah, you lit. took after your mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so silly. So, yeah, but I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we still family. We all we family. got. Family. Not man, purpose. you know, um, just um, things that's been going on, man, for me, man, just sitting back watching everything. How are we doing so far? We've only been doing this a year and a half now. And uh, what do you think about the show as you see us uh, continue to uh, work? I see this show as um, my career. I feel like we're following each other to a point. And it's crazy to see where y'all have came wow. from when Same I first came here. And it's like. I don't know when I first came on here like it was the first form of like legitimate like pub that I had mm -hmm. as an artist I've always had pub as a basketball player but when I came on here people started taking me serious and uh just little snippets and to see where y'all come from there and like to see the snippets that have came out in the actual videos from what the work y'all been putting in I'm at this every day music wise and I feel like y'all are at this every day and it's right. beautiful to see God putting those things together. Mm. Wow, you said it, man. When you when he mentioned God, you know that's no, the, we need a bell, bling, 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 bling. <laughs> because without God, uh, these things don't happen for me. I don't know how other people make it through, not understanding how they're maneuvering through yeah. by the hand of God. It's higher power. It's, yeah, it's it's a lot of things happen in your life that I look back at bad situations in my life and I wonder like why did I go through that and then. You look on the flip side of it, and there's a reason for everything. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know. It's it's beautiful. Like, hard work is one thing, but then hard work and having faith in something that is bigger than you is a whole other thing. Man, you know, um, just uh, some of the things that uh, really, uh, really, you know, blows my mind, man, is the way the music industry is and the way that it comes off is just crazy how mm -hmm. you never know what's going to happen from one day to the next, you know, in the industry. What? Such and such? Oh, man, he's he shot somebody. And you be this is hip hop. Yeah. And then you go over here and you over here in uh, uh, this other uh, climate and it may still be a hip hop, but it's a little more upscale. Oh, man, uh, Swiss Beats and uh, Timbaland Sue and uh, Trilla. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you just keep seeing all these different levels of what's going on in entertainment now, you know, and hip hop has become one of those things that has scaled, you know. What do you think about it when you see like Swiss Beats and, uh, I got you. you know, Swiss Beats it's and- It's the uh, same reason that reality and, TV is so popular. It's drama. And it's the same reason that, mu like, I feel like beefs and stuff happen. I mean, there are some legitimate beefs out there, but there are beefs out there that are like, happening because they both benefit from that well do you believe that swiss beats and uh timbaland had a legitimate beef with Trill? no no you don't i don't i don't i mean maybe there's some legal things that are going you on you don't think they was paying them you think they was paying them or what was going on i think that uh just, um, if they were then okay but like at the end of the day the the drama that happens is unnecessary and it takes away from artists that are trying to do something I just see a lot of times, man, when you look at a lot of these different people who are the big brothers behind the mm -hmm. scene, they're trying to find a way to fleece the flock. Ooh, they're yeah. looking at ways to try to be creative enough to keep control of what we do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I go there. 
You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like so, that. so they're like not that. really trying to to stay I, relevant. Exactly. Yeah. So basically, the Timberland move or whatever, and the, and the Swiss Beats move is, is is probably them not trying to you know conform to what they're trying to get them to conform to. Right. And there's you know they're so moving. let's create havoc so everybody pays attention to it. And it, I think that's bullshit. I think that happens too because they came out during a time like during. COVID where people mm-hmm. didn't have no other choice but to stay at home and watch these yeah. versus battles but now because people things are, have somewhat opened up and people are moving on with their lives I think now it's you gotta be more strategic when you put it up Yeah, you gotta figure out a way to get the people to tune in uh-huh. and why not just have a beef in the middle of it right yeah I mean with two legends like Timbaland and Swiss Beats that's kind of crazy that they would stoop to that level in my like Mine, but then you got to think of like how much music is being put out there right now, and like, but stoop to what level? Because they're to, to where they're like, where they're arguing with, <coughs> with an trailer. app, with an app. Yeah, like well, at the end of the day, with app, with an app, like that that doesn't seem real in my head. So like that's probably where I stand with it. I mean, I don't want to get too far into it, but the whole world is kind of fucked right now. For being honest, why why do you say that? Um, because there's a divide between religion, between race, between everything. And I don't I don't like where the world's at right now. And it scares me for having a kid in this world right now. But they need sure. twenty eight million dollars to to make, you know, to kind of say, you know what? Um, to make things to where we'll work together again. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need yeah. some money, man. Money, money runs the world. Yeah, I but then, so. but then in society, okay, you know, a lot of these young kids as they gr- they're growing up, they want to be a celebrity, they want to be a star, whether it be a rock YouTuber. star, a you now is becoming a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. but it's just to be um, popular, be seen. Uh-huh. They feel like okay, if I'm being seen, I'm making good money, but they don't realize that with all of this popularity comes a lot of consequences too, because even like when I'm reading through news right now. Cause you remember when um, Bill Cosby he went to jail for what he did, you know, um, R. Did. Kelly yeah, yeah. allegedly <laughs> did or did. Um, R. Kelly he's gone, so it's like even with the rappers, they're taking these rappers off the streets now, and you know, not saying that they didn't do, did or didn't do anything wrong, mm-hmm. but I'm looking down now and I'm seeing George Foreman said they're now um, taking him to court over over the grills. No, <laughs> over here. This is the part that that kills me. Over sexual abuse allegations that he so called did when he was in his twenties. What? Who? Um. Well. Okay. So when I'm seeing things like this, I'm just like, okay, y'all are reaching for all these people that yeah. we held at such a high stature. You know what I mean? That you're trying to defame them. You're trying to make them look That's bad. Crazy. George I Foreman. I didn't know who, about that. Yeah. yeah I'm, it was and on he TMZ. Just so wow. happened to be black. What you understand that? what I mean? <laughs> he just so happens to be a brother. No comment. Uh, <laughs> I think so. That, I'm seeing all of these things yeah. that they're they're defaming all of these. I mean, look at like Deshaun Watson, the quarterback from the, the, that's getting trouble right. from the massage parlors. Like, exactly. There's a lot of situations where that happens. Um, I think every situation is different. But and it's I just being more certain, and more now. Yeah, yeah. But than I think ever. every situation should be handled as that situation not like it's george foreman or deshaun watson like i think every situation should be handled like it's a and b like i don't right. think and i and i think that's the price of fame sometimes like i think that people are from your past who don't want to see you do good things or they see an opportunity to interject and make money off of you yeah because you cut them off like because I, if you were a nobody if george foreman was a nobody just working 95 exactly that wouldn't even came back up from I your agree. 20s there should like, be a law that, that that you can't do that but there's not and that's 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 what's crazy and it's i i it's not just like i don't know it's uh every situation should be handled differently right and cancel culture is a real thing it is and uh that's that happens as well and i don't know it uh, the world we live in today even from when like five to ten years ago isn't the same world that i mm. grew up in 
and it's going to sound change. old. No, but like. right. <laughs> and it, it's it's going to change because I remember growing up and my grandparents telling me, "Oh, it's so dangerous out there. People killing people, or this and that." And I looked at them as like, "You crazy? I'm out here every day. I'm not seeing people just falling down. You know, dead. Yeah. You know, whatever." But now we're doing that to our kids. So it's 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 going to be an evolution. It's going to always keep happening. Yep. So anyway, so let's get into your music. Yeah, please, because the other stuff <laughs> stresses me out. Because I was just about to talk about this artificial intelligence. Uh, oh, the rapper. rapper? Yeah, I was headed. I was in Mecca. FM Mecca. He's oh. the first artificial. And he's intelligence. controlled huh? by a white yeah. dude. Hold on, I don't know about this. So yeah. tell me about this. What, what what's going oh on? Oh my god, <laughs> some like gamer who like he creates like bots AI, which is artificial intelligence. Right. He created a rapper that kind of looks like a crossbreed of like six nine and like Young Thug, but he has like my complexion almost. So this is a machine. Yes. And, okay. But they type in like the lyrics, and it's combined a whole bunch of like uh, voices from like other artists. Does this machine look like a person? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it looks like a Fortnite character. Like a, okay. And it's so it's not like a person, like a you know, like when you watch yeah. the movies. Oh yeah, I saw that. So it's just a character. It's but not like really he, like they made it into a, like a real person, person. Yeah, yeah. And he dropped a song with Gunna. Did you see that? Called mm, Florida Water. No. And the song like is it hard? <laughs> that a hard. That a hard. That a hard. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna lie. Like that whole went hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's talking like people. if you heard it like and you didn't know the backstory, you'd be like, damn, that sound good. Asin. But then you look at the backstory. And it's some like white kid who like is a gamer nerd dude, and he's sitting there like, and the effing mecha dude says the n word like over and over again, and really? everybody's like, "What the fuck? Like, you can't do that." <laughs> These people are wild wow. out, man. Like, it's a way where he can't say it out of his yeah, mouth yeah, personally, yeah. but he's gonna build his character right. so he can say everything he wants to say. Wow. And he got signed by Capitol Records. Yeah, he got signed, and then he got what? dropped. He, he got, got dropped, dropped two days, two days later. later. <laughs> Why? As he, because I mean, he was the first artificial intelligence. Yeah. Uh, so they just want to sign him to say he's the first. The controversy behind it, like you can't. But then why drop him then? They, they can't deal with the heat. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess once they dropped, like who f it, who controlled the oh, so artificial when they signed, intelligence? So when they signed him, they didn't know who. I bet they knew they who had did. To. But then when the public found out, they didn't want to deal with the backlash. So what did what did they think was going to come with it? I don't know. Say so it was dope. Major labels are pretty. It. Out That's there, crazy. it's just the first of many. You'll see but, it again. But again, when when you do with anything with technology, with artificial intelligence, and all of that, the first thing people think about is like, oh, y'all trying to get rid of the rappers now. So are you just gonna create this? And yeah. is that what's gonna start doing all this music? It broke my heart when I first saw it. I'm gonna be honest, because I work my ass off at making music every day, <laughs> and to think that somebody could just go in there and be like, oh, let me just create, create this, rapper this rapper and type in lyrics, and I'm like. Okay, Ooh, but this person That's can't crazy. do um, shows. I mean, yeah, yeah, he can. Like, he he can could. Do they could pop him up like the hologram. The yeah, like Tupac's hologram. Yeah, he could pop up. That's crazy. And, and you crazy. know, it's coming. The future yeah, is the coming. The future is coming. Yeah, okay. the Jetsons. Yeah, I got to <laughs> Do you know that cartoon? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're young, the so I'm yeah, trying no, to see. it's the they're flying around in like spaceships right. and stuff. Yeah. So um, okay, so your new album. What's mm -hmm. the name of the project again? Life's a trip. Yes. Life's a what trip. What inspired it? Which I know what inspired, but what tell our audience what inspired it? What inspired this piece of like work um, was, uh, I mean, if we're gonna get into it, get I think, into it. I think that like uh, everybody goes through things in life, and uh, I went through the worst situation possible. And life's a trip means like, damn, like sometimes things happen in life and you kind of are like in a, in a mind frame of like, how the fuck am I going through this? Mm -hmm. And that happened to me. And it's about like a situation that I'm going through with my kid's mom. And uh, the whole album or project EP, whatever they want to call it, is uh, based around that. And uh, it's very true to my heart, and it's very true to what I'm going through. And uh, so, like, I don't want to get too far into it because I talk about it throughout the EP and the album. And uh, I have to live it every day, mm -hmm. and I don't want to have to keep reliving it. Um, but I do know that, like, 
that is a true testimony to what I've gone through in the past year and a half. But you say you don't want to keep reliving it, but then whenever you, people do music, I know that you do music to get as a therapy to get off mm, your chest. Yes. But then say you get booked and you have to go and sing these songs Ooh, over and yeah. over. So you're going to still be reliving it yeah, over reliving and over. It as in a sense of like, I don't want to expand on it too far. I want people to, I mean, listen to it and relate to it's it. It's pretty black and white. So how you, I mean, if you listen to the, the song called life's a trip off the EP, it's exactly what I'm going through. Can you give us a little do bit of it? Do we have a visual of it? Like, do you have visuals online? Or? I'm about to drop a few videos from it um, pretty soon. Um, no, not yet. But it's the DA trying to frame me, my BM trying to blame me for her crazy ways. That's what he's doing. Yeah. That's not, you just talking and let's see what you got. All right. Um, life's a trip. It's a journey. Lies on my name. I had to hire an attorney. Take me for my kid, cause that's the only way to hurt me. Paint me like a piece of shit and do me dirty. Do me dirty. The DA trying to frame me. My BM trying to blame me for her crazy ways. I pray the truth will save me. I wish that you would save me before they lock me up for life and put me in a cage. Wow. And when, you say, when you say, I wish you would save me, who are you talking to? Her. Her? Well, yeah, because uh, it's crazy. It's I mean, like, everybody has baby mama drama, but, mm -hmm. like, it's just taking it to an extreme. And at this point, like, since this project came out, like, the I've been really kind of, like, running from, like, the truth. But, like, I mean. Why? Why are you because Because of, like, I'm scared. Like, I'm, I'm scared. Like, it's, I'm facing yeah. a lot of shit. Yeah. And my kid is seven. I hadn't seen him since he was six. That's another lyric I just wrote the other day. But like And he's old enough to understand a yeah. little bit now. And so like I don't know. I feel like I'm lost when it comes to that situation. You did you ever think like when you was up in Chicago and you had to come back and all of this happened that you would mm -hmm. still be fighting these battles seven years later? No. No, no, no. I uh definitely didn't think this is where I would be. But I think the music like how music saved me back then i think music saved me now to this day yeah to this day and uh it's the way i vent it's the way i get my feelings across i don't have a therapist and so i feel like that's my therapy and uh it makes it hard to move on from situations because you're reflecting all the time but it also i mean i feel good after i make a song like it's it yeah. is what it is there's a reason that, that, that my cover art is like that it's that's that was based off of the mug shots that I've had and like the situation I'm going through with somebody who I have shared a baby with and that I like it's just I don't know, trials coming up and it's gonna be a motherfucker. Like I, I mean Yeah. And, You're not the first person to go through this and you won't be the last. Wow. It's, it's it's this is for some reason an ongoing situation. And God always, knows the truth. Yes. And that's, 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 I could die tomorrow. We could all die tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to face somebody when we die. Right. And I know for damn sure that I'm, I'm telling the truth. 99 problems, like Jay Z was saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 99 problems, but Jane won. That's the first song on the EP. Yeah. 99 problems. Um, yeah. What, what inspired you to do that? And, and did you get it from Jay Z? No. That was the first. The first night that all this shit transpired. Uh, How long ago did the situation start? It started, so what are we in? What's the month? We're in August. Okay, I try to block out time. But uh, it was last July, so 2021 okay. July. Uh, we had an apartment. We had gotten into it at the apartment. And the police came. It was crazy. And uh, we left there. Or I left there. And I went somewhere else. I went to the producer who I was working with's house. And I started doing that song, and it was like, I've been looking for the bright side, staring at the moonlight. Mm -hmm. I can't get you out of my head yet. Get pushed to the edge, and I jump every time. And that's based on, like... That's 99 Pro. Yeah, and it's like me being her, like, manipulation and just and making me act like somebody I'm not. And that's kind of where that came from. And it's like 99 problems you want me to solve them. Like, you got these problems that you're facing, and you want me to help solve them, but I can't. 
And uh, so that's kind of where that came from. And the featured artist on there is a pretty big artist named Jay Wan. Yeah, I seen that. Jay yeah. Wan, man. How did you link up with him? He's, uh, we're at the same label. Okay. And he's got a huge following. Like, uh, he's an R&B and soul artist. And we were in the studio at Music Access, and we were getting the final mix on the song. And he's like, man, I love this fucking song. And I'm like, bro, do the intro. And I wrote the intro for him. And he was like, wow. And he went in there and just killed the intro. He's got such a good voice. That's dope. And uh, so, yeah, that song and the people from my label, they really believe in that song. And I think that song will be a song that, like, could be pretty special. Mm -hmm. Too much. Too much? Did I, did, did you, I'm trying to go to. I down. was, uh, yeah, I was going to ask a question. Something about the other song? No, but okay. go ahead. <laughs> Too much is about, like, uh, hitting rock bottom. It's like right after I got out of jail. And uh, shaking back from that, that's like kind of the hook is from. And the person who produced that produced my Dougie way back oh, in the yeah, day. Oh, yeah, Lil' the Will. Keys. No, yeah, Lil' Will, but uh, it's his producer named Keys. And he played this, like, drum loop, and I was like, damn. So then I was like, let me see what I could do. So I went and got on the computer and started, like, how I make beats is, like, I'll look for samples within that key or, like, close to that BPM. Mm-hmm. And I heard this like crazy saxophone sound, and that's how it starts. And then it drops into a beat that, like, if you listen to that beat and then you go listen to my Dougie, they sound similar. And so I just kind of like, I don't know, like that song came together crazy, and uh, everybody likes that song. Wow. It's, how does it start? It's, uh, I hit rock bottom, I was down bad, had a shake back from mistakes that I made, where my drink at. Okay. And then it's like, uh, yeah. I gave you too much, too much. Oh, like that's a that's a big. That's dope, There's like man. six hooks in that song, which is crazy. Like I've gotten a lot better at making hooks out of my songs and uh, transitioning them, stuff like that. And I'm blessed to have people that I work with, so it's it's been fun. You're and, you're musically growing. Yeah, and it's stressful sometimes, but like it's also beautiful. But you see, like God had to put you through. A lot of things, because one thing I realize about uh, musicians, a lot of times they have to go through a lot of stuff to really so produce because you really write a lot of things that you go through or something that somebody close to you is going mm -hmm. through that's affected you because people relate to pain. People relate because that's what most people go through. Yeah. And when you're talking about pain, what is the darkest moment in your life that you've been through right now since this whole ordeal started and how did you overcome it? I think, uh, so, I've been arrested, like, twice over this predicament, and uh, the first time, I was more, like, in shock, and I was like, dang, like, what? And then uh, the second time was the lowest, and it was because the person who was, like, causing me to be arrested was still talking to me that day. And, and that wasn't your, your kid's mom? It was okay. no. That's what, that's what it was. Yeah, it's all so based see, basically, on one basically, uh, you had this is suburban warfare. Is was, what I call it. It was basically just basically like it guided you into that. Yeah. Wow. And you see where you coming from? Mm -hmm. Like, it makes sense. It's like it was more of like when I say suburban warfare, I mean like that we're going through a family custody battle, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. It's not like I was winning the family custody battle, but I had my rights as a dad. And fuck it, I wasn't going to talk about this shit, but I'm about to just open up. Uh, and it was like, okay. I everything was good. My son was happy. Like, he got to be with his dad, he got to be with his mom. He knew when he was going to see his dad. He didn't, like, that was beautiful to me. And because we had created a toxic situation for him for so long trying to make it work. And then all of a sudden, like, we go through that situation where 99 Problems is based around it at the apartment we were living at. And from that point on, like, her parents got involved, my parents got involved, families were involved. And that's why I say suburban warfare. And we were trying to make it work for a while, and she came to my house one night, and we got into it really bad. And uh, she recorded me yelling at her, cussing at her, being mean. And somehow they got flipped into a whole other situation. And uh, that's when all these charges started coming along. But, uh, but an argument... Um, recording an argument that shouldn't mm. unless there was physical altercation well it, it was an uh, argument about me not giving her phone back and so it's uh, almost like you're holding her hostage 
Yes, is what they're trying to paint it as. And then the recording is gets cut off, and there's certain situation like certain but things. But she was using a phone to uh, record Apple Watch, you. Apple Watch. Oh, you can record the Apple Watch. Uh, uh, fuck news to me too. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> wow. So like I, uh, the next day after this fight happened, it was a typical fight for me and her. Right. It was a normal fight, and she, uh, I guess. Some shit happened with the family law thing. And then her parents heard that. And in the recordings, I'm saying stuff that I'm not proud of, but it's a typical fight that we had. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never thought that it would come back into this to way. So we're not fighting my, for my life. Right. And I hadn't seen my kid in... A year. Yeah. But you know, sometimes God lets you hit those bumps in the road. You know well, I wouldn't have nothing to talk Correct. about if yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he, He's got, it's going to be something where he's going to he's going to pull you through. We believe in that he's going to pull you through. I appreciate that. I really do. You know what I mean? To we make put it, we rooting individual. for you to, to yeah. that you and your your son will be put back together. Right. And I think it's something. It's a horrible thing for you not to be in seeing your son in a, a year. You know what I'm it saying? It made me appreciate him a lot more. Uh, I mean, not like I didn't appreciate him before, but like, right. man. They always say you don't ever know what you have until you That's lose gone. it. Yeah, but. The good thing is that it's going to make you stronger. It's going to build you up in a way where he's going to look at you even better. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And the thing that bothers me throughout this whole situation, which I kind of touched on in the this in the EP and, okay. and in even more music that I've been making, is not me, not my feelings. My son thinks I am. I, he thinks I'm as big as Travis Scott or Drake. Right. And he don't get to see me in that or communicate with me and that's what fucks me up and mm -hmm. breaks my heart is that like what do you tell him like i know i've told him i'm away making music but that's not true right and so like that's kind of like nobody should be in this situation and like i've been f running from confronting it head on for so long but like i'm so close to this court date that to, at this point that's why when this came out i'm like fuck it like i have to you have to face it because then it also prepares you for that court case. Yeah, 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 You know what I mean? And I totally understand because there's so many men out here who are not holding up to their responsibility, Man. not trying to take care of their kids, yeah. don't even want to see them. Uh, they want me to and, be a deadbeat. Right, and here you are, a man who wants to be a mm -hmm. part of your child's life. Yeah. So um, I commend you for that. Don't give up the fight. Oh, you know, everything I does can't. happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, what I, put it all in God's hands and know that what no matter what the outcome is it's his purpose and know that it's a reason you're going through what you need to go right. through i agree i couldn't agree more oh man yes. yeah that's, that's she how, said she hit it right on the head i couldn't <laughs> agree more um you know you just uh like i said you you, you life is predestined mm -hmm. god the steps of a good man the word says is ordered by the lord mm -hmm. so you got that that's uh that's something that you got to understand mm-hmm that's a book. It's in Psalms. It's been I written. I believe it's in right. Psalms. I believe it's something that you, people that are familiar <laughs> with you, uh, they, they they definitely like that. But it also says, in my heart have I hidden thy word that I might not sin against thee. Uh -huh. So you have to take the word and harness it inside so that you'll be able to understand which way you should go. You know that's what I mean? That's what I'm working on. So I know, and, and you're going to get there. Man, so it's, it's just, tough. It's tough, but yeah, it, it, but it takes dying daily. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most important thing that you die daily, basically forgetting about the what the thing that that Paul says. He said one thing that I do is he says I, I forget those things which are behind me, and I press toward the mark of those things which are before me. You have to forget about That's what beautiful. happened, uh -huh. and you have to move toward the greatness that God has mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. But until you start to do that, you can get caught up looking back. The Word of God says no man take hold of a plow and look back without running into something. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very, very careful on how you maneuver in life when it comes down to Focusing on God, mm -hmm. man. Right, right, right. That's the most important thing. And I think that's what he's wanting to do. He's always looking to get our attention and make us focus more on him. So right. I just say continue that that venture right there. Yeah. And I think everything else will work itself out. Because the words say, seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and its righteousness. All, righteousness. all of his righteousness. Yeah, yeah. And the, all these other things will be added. So you have to understand that God knows what he's doing in this whole scenario that you can't figure out because you stand on one side of a room and you look through a peek hole at life but god stands on the other side and see the whole room 
That's fucking. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. I totally agree with you. <laughs> you because, do? Yeah, I do. Okay. That's that's made me like I don't know. That gave me a lot of peace. That's yeah. what it's all because, about. Because like I wrote this EP for like. Uh, I want to let go of that situation. Yeah. I want to be done with it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to live in that situation every day. It's hell. Like, it, it is hell. Like, that's that's my hell. And I uh, I found God through it, which I get. I mean, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. And mm-hmm. it's, I mean, if y'all remember, last last few times I came on here, I didn't, I didn't know what God was. Right. And I, I mean, I thought I was God. And, and I mean, that's a problem. Well, the Bible says ye are God. Okay, well, so right. you, 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 that, it says that as well. In his image. That comes from yeah. Psalms as well. Yeah, but and I mean, it, I mean it in a whole different way. You really thought you was God? I thought I was like, <laughs> like you yeah. communicate yeah. the real God out. Yeah. No, you just a little G. Yeah, little you're not G, the big yeah. G. Not the big G. But at the end of the day, that little G in you, man, makes you somebody that you should be proud of who you are. Right, right. Yeah, I agree. But it was, it's, I found a purpose throughout this and uh i can't wait for the next ep because this ep is so personal that it kind of hurts and uh but it's good that you put it all in your music because it's almost like a journal you know people write journals when they go through things and stuff but then right. just like you say you you wanted to put it on wax and forget about it mm-hmm. but once you finish this chapter of your life you'll be able to use what you have done to help others. And you're going to end up always repeating it and talking about it. And, fi- you know, you it's know the foundation. I mean? That's to why help I said others. That. It's the foundation. Right. When, when that song pops off, which, I mean, I got some hits that I've been laying on. When that song pops off, I want people to know who I am so they have something to go follow and, like, like oh, this is who he is. I notice your social media, um, your Instagram, you're not putting a lot out there. Why? No, I've been very, I mean, part of it is because of this case. Okay. And part of it is because of me finding myself through my music. I haven't, uh, my label gets on to me all the time about not posting content daily. But people want, okay, people as in like you, as in the person who is doing it, want to put off this perfect person out there. Um for everybody so you're saying you're trying to find yourself but people want to see that evolution through your social media right you know right. what i mean no i agree and i also think that like the imperfect perfect everything yeah, they yeah. want to see that they want to see the growth i'm working on it but so i'm also dealing with there. real life shit like on a daily basis to where it's like i'm not gonna sit here and post a selfie when i'm like sitting here like on the phone with my my lawyers and my my like there's just a lot going on mm-hmm. and uh i i honestly forget and i don't have the most confidence when it comes to me as a person like where i'm at in my life and so i struggle with that too but i've gotten a lot better being around people who truly believe in me and wish me well that could change everything and uh you I was see a- even just that statement that you just made even doing a video of you just saying that and yeah. then putting it out there, so many people will gravitate to it just because it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially you putting at the end of it that I'm getting better. Mm-hmm. I'm working on me every day. Yeah. So it's not like you're just, you know, in this pay, in this place and just like, I'm never gonna get better. Right. Well, the one thing that I can always attest to is that the reality of it is, you can't see your son right now, but if you put these things out and do stuff like you're doing here now, you can always reflect back to him, show him that you always was thinking about it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But if you don't do the things that you need to do to show these steps, then a lot of times it gets covered up with mess that somebody else may have said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you 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 got to make sure that you don't that's lose a, focus, that's good. man. Yeah. Man. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm working. This is what I do. That's yeah. why we're the dopest podcast in the whole South. No, it's it's not even Maybe close. even in the world. Hey, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> no, in the hey, world. Let's, let's say it. Real. Let's we, say it. We dope hey. because we care. And yeah. I think yeah. people, that's what they keep trying to figure out. Why does why is this guy, why does why does Mr. Jamaica and uh, ECO and Money Mose and them, why are they doing 10,000 new subscribers a month organically? Why are they doing a million, over a million views a month? Why? It's because we're really in here caring about people. People. We're really in here trying to figure out ways to help people. What's when you see a hot boy Wes Knox. on here, Knox. you see a hot boy Wes, and she probably actually had to pray for him. But I'm being honest with you. When you see yeah. these people on here, this is therapy, bro. No, it is. We're, we're just talking, man. And that's why when I came on here, I was like telling myself, I even told her, I was like, I'm not going to talk about the situation. <laughs> 
that I'm going through. But I'm like, man, like I said, mom and dad on this motherfucker. <laughs> like, I, I, like I really, I can't help. But it. when you're moved to it, you know, you just yeah. move to it. And it's that's my that's my like. Well, that's you what know, I'm going through. Yeah. But those videos that I'm talking about, I, just to elaborate on what he said, you could do a video and it title it, you know, different segments, letters to my son. Letters to Knox. Right, letters to, to Knox, and just do different, you know, just how you feel every day. Just say it. Just say it. No, that's real. And I think she just cool. gave me. I think she just gave me the idea to help me blow up. That's crazy. Yeah, that's because crazy. that's that's the whole. People game. gonna relate. I guarantee you, yeah. because there's so many men out there that are going who are it. missing their sons or daughters, having somebody else raise their child when they really trying to get their life together to right. you know do well, that. Well, and it's not even like my life wasn't even. Like, that's the craziest thing is, like, I have people who are in my life that I would call friends who don't give a fuck about their kid. And it's their deadbeats. That's how I call it. It's like, mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, like, I would I would give my right leg, whatever, to, to spend a day with my kid right now. Mm -hmm. Be in, like, that hurts. I think the absolute truth, man, is you have to stay uh prayed up that's where you get your power from mm -hmm. yeah we here with austin man austin grand is in the building man we definitely love this guy every time he shows up man he shows out he give us all type of information that useful for people out here who's trying to get them careers to where mm -hmm. they need to be this guy's having a great time doing it um austin is uh ricky how's how is ricky is he still your manager what's yeah, going on yeah. with that no for sure me and ricky are locked in uh we're trying to figure out this next step. Uh, you said the other work of body, I mean, the other, other body oh, of work oh, oh that you have coming out. But when will that be released? Probably in the next month or so. I mean, so I'm, is it finished? I plan on, yes, I plan on pushing until they fucking hear me. Honestly, I'm tired of, I mean, you put a beat on right now. I'm the best, I'm the best artist in Dallas and Texas at all. I'm true to who I am. Easy. And I don't give a fuck if you f how you feel about it, how anybody feels about it, because that's what I do. I wake up every day and I treat this shit like religion. And at the end of the day, that's just who I am. And you throw a beat on now, you throw a beat, any beat, I'm going to body that bitch. And I don't care. Like, I just don't. Like, at the end of the day, like, I, I have a real good heart when it comes to who I am as a person. But when it comes to my craft, I mean, you're going to have to show me that you're better than me. And so that's just how I feel. My question is, because I know, like, a lot of people or I don't know anybody that actually did this, but um, I'm just assuming. So when you're going up, to, you're moving up to the court case, right? And it can go any way. And uh -huh. I wish that, I hope you are you don't go left. I hope it stays this way. Yeah. But I would think that a lot of people would be like staying in the studio doing like a lot, a lot of work just in case. So I have all of this to put out while no, I'm that's gone. That's what I, I live in. The, my bedroom is in my studio. So you have you're working on a lot of body of work so that yeah. just in case you it's have something for in, years. It's not just in case okay. if my court case goes left. I was doing this shit before the court case came okay. about. Uh, it's my therapy and it's how it makes. I mean, it's the same way I treated basketball when I was younger. It's I wake up and I go. To, I'm at the gym before anybody else, and I'm the last one to leave the gym. It's the same shit. It's the same work ethic. I don't think this court case is gonna go left. I pray and, it doesn't. And God's told me it's not going to. So, awesome. I mean, at the end of the day, whatever happens, happens. And I'm cool with whatever. But I also know that, yes, there's going to be a body of work for people to be listening mm -hmm. to while I'm wherever. But I uh, I do this because I need to do it. And when is, it, when is the court case? Uh, it keeps getting pushed back. But it'll probably be in, like, October, November. Okay. Because we we'll definitely have to follow up with you and call you and be like, how did it go? What's up? <laughs> or I'll be calling y'all. Collect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not the same. Not the same. What do you mean? Not the same? Oh, that's a flexing song. Let's talk about it. Uh, it's just, uh, you better watch your bitch, bro. Diamonds on me dancing. Would have thought it was a disco. Like that song right there is a banger. We sampled a, a old ass song. I forgot which one, but it's 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 a uh, man. Can you play that song? That's my favorite song on there. Like really? Because it's positive. Oh, okay. And then Houston to LA is about a stripper, but the first three songs are about this situation, and then the last two are like, man, let's do better. Well, I'm glad that you didn't put your whole album no, by the situation. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Because uh, I know people who go through situations and they want to do from start to end <laughs> yeah, no, that no, whole no, situation. No, 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 no. I had to uh, throw some bangers in there. If you play like Not the Same in Houston to LA, 
What about, I want to talk about these songs. I'll play them, but I want to talk about them. I want to hear yeah, where to, Austin man, Mine like, was at when you Where my mom was at when it was, I was uh, probably fresh out the club. Uh, not the same. was probably recorded after a good night at the club. And um, I was feeling myself. And it's like, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, uh, I go through, I'm a Gemini too. So I go through stages uh every day like i feel like really up and i feel really down that's why i think my big album is going to be called bipolar gemini i was just about to say some people would say that's bipolar yeah no it's bipolar gemini are you bipolar no but i mean gemini bipolar same (laughs) shit but not i haven't been diagnosed but uh, (laughs) it's kind of like uh i'm hot and cold and i i feel myself some days and some days i don't but i'm honest with it Mm-hmm. And you're gonna get that's that. good. Yeah, so I don't know. Not the same as is is about me being not the that same. guy. I'm not. I'm not like you. It's, uh, that you yeah. change every day, evolve. Yeah, it's not that deep. Though it's more like you better watch your bitch, bro. Diamonds <laughs> on me dancing. Would have thought it was a disco like that. Mm. Wow, you know, you one of those guys that you put this body of work together and. Bam, you know, and, and you believe in what you're doing. You give your heart to it, so you know it's a go. Um, this one, this uh, Houston to L.A. Why Houston? You in Dallas? Um, that was written like Houston's a big city for uh, dancers, exotic dancers. I'm not gonna call them strippers. Um, okay. And it's like about a girl that I was talking to way back when, and uh, she was always traveling, and it's like. She don't want to dance no more. She want to be a model or an actress. Okay. Like, it's more of like that. They say, she don't want to dance no, no more. more. She, she want to be a model or an actress. Yeah, I had to make him come with it. Don't yeah, play yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But she can't let go because she know the pole is where the cash is. That's how I go down. She a dancer by the night, but a student by the day. They pay for a flight. She go from Houston to L.A. Mm. That's cool. Mm. I fell in love with a stripper. That shit right there. Is, we gotta listen though. I don't want to give them all of it. Yeah. Don't give them all of it. No, like it's mm. that song right there is is pretty fire. Man, that's dope, man. That you would even. You, and how long does it take you like to write a, a, uh, a song? It's usually off the top. That's why it's hard for me to remember. Is I'm freestyling a lot of this shit, and I do it every day, and. uh I don't know. I don't really go back and listen to them like that. I just kind of, I'm jaded by the songs that get dropped. Really? I mean, I'm listening to songs in my notes that I just made. So, like, it's, uh, I'm just, keep moving, keep moving. Next song, next song, next song. Next shot. Like, it's the same thing. Same thing. Wow. Um, so, I look at, like I said, these these different artists in Dallas, and I'm trying to figure out where where do you feel Dallas music is as a whole. Yeah, you got Post Malone, but then after that, you know, you got a lost. lot of, a lot of different things. Lost. I think Dallas music is explain. Lost. I think that uh, I think that it starts with like the executives, and I think it's it, it and it just funnels down to the artists. And I think uh, Post Malone left Dallas. You don't rap Dallas like that. He was from Grapevine Mills, right? Yeah, but he don't rep it like that. What do you mean he don't rep it? He has when no other choice. It's who he is. But when does he ever talk? Like it's like people think that people like have to leave Dallas to blow up, which I don't believe in that. But it's like, I mean, name another artist that has recently. I mean, you got like the Yellow BZ Mo Three beef, but besides that, like I'm, nobody's really doing numbers out in Dallas like that. So it's a, uh, uh, I don't know, it's lost. I it's think, lost. I think I think so. I think that... Uh, How do we find it? I think there's so much talent here. And I think that it's not being uh, funneled the right way. So how do we how do we get to where we need to be with the music in the Dallas market? Kind of grand world. You think you can solve all these uh, issues? I will. And it's based on me as an artist and as a producer and as a songwriter. I think that... Uh, I don't know. That's my plans for this shit. Who would you like to work with? Um, I mean, could you work with anybody? No, just anybody. Anybody, yeah. The like anybody that. uh, I mean, shit. I got beats for anybody, and I got lyrics for anybody, and I just like to be in the studio with people. Rather, it's again. Who would you like to work with? I like. uh, Think like uh, I like the Hot Boy West. 
Oh, you like to work? That I would like be dope. That, that would be dope. No, but like it's more of like my beats and, and how I'm gonna structure a song for them is is fire. Like an Erica Banks or like or like a female artist. I've been writing for female artists, and I mean, like when I I get nasty when I'm writing for a female artist because that's what's gaining the the attention. Like you listen to a Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and it's all cadence based. It's all based on a cadence mm -hmm. and how much they believe in themselves when they're talking. And uh, that's kind of like where I'm at with that. But I like I like working with all kinds of artists. Shit, I'll work with anybody. I mean, that believes in themselves. Mm -hmm. So where do you see yourself in the next year? Oh, the next year. So we got to speak positivity. No, I mean, only positivity. I see myself uh, definitely um, touring. Mm -hmm. and uh creating a movement some some kind of movement and uh really like uh, being able to touch people's lives and help people uh and also working with a lot of artists because i've developed my own production and, and recording the way i record people and mix people that's special and, mm -hmm. and i believe in that more than anything more than me as an artist i believe in that like what I could do as a producer and as a sound designer almost and how I can incorporate different sounds into this and that. And uh, so I, I think I could change music and maybe not next year, but the year after. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just as long always as it's moving your goal, forward. Right, yeah, it's your so. goal. Set it in stone and work towards it. Right. You'll, you'll accomplish it. Yeah, I agree. So what's your top three artists of all time, dead or alive, any genre? Let me see if it's changed. Uh, Drake. Okay, number one. Yeah. Number two. Elvis. Okay, number three. Did you watch the Elvis movie? No, not yet. But you my grandma, watch it. It my was grandma, cool. but we, me and my girl listened to the uh, Doja Cat just put out a song, mm -hmm. and it was on the Elvis movie, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she it was. remixed like it ain't nothing but a hound mm -hmm. dog. And I used to press that button on my grandma's telephone. She had a phone, and you press the button, and it would play that it song. Would play that song. Uh, wow. And I used to get in trouble. It used to spank me because I just <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> And uh, I think so. I think Drake, Elvis, and, and then who? Let me see. Oh my God, this stuff. Uh, I love Lil Wayne. So he's oh, yeah? number three. I mean, from my like upbringing. This is your. This is your number yeah, three. But then, like I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably say Kurt Cobain. Hey. Mm. I love Kurt Cobain. That's our first Kurt Cobain. Nirvana, like that whole mm. era of music, like. Sad boy shit. Like he just he was he was different. And uh yeah. Man, okay. um, we gonna we gonna definitely listen to some music. I just was sitting over here trying to figure out um, you know, we're gonna vibe out. A lot of this we can't play. That's why I don't like doing it. Play what? Like the music because yeah, it, it be it be it's it get flagged. You too be writing? Yeah. Even my music? Yes. Why would you yeah. not, why would it That's not? That's crazy. You hadn't put it out yet? I have music that I have put Do out. Do you yet. put it out like on Apple and all that? Well, I don't. My label does. Okay, right. so then so if I play it, out there, it's gonna get what the things on Apple, Austin? You think I they're just gonna say, "Oh, it's that's boss talk"? I mean, they should. No. Let us fuck. I'm a swim in it, bed. I'm a diving. I know that you've been waiting. Are you ready? Sound like the, sound like the woman was on there, huh? Yeah, yeah, she's on there. That's fire, right? You like yeah, it? I heard her. She sounds real, real refreshing. Yes, like she really yes. was having a good time. One take, one take, one take, one take. <laughs> wow. So, um, you know, uh, this music is it, it, something that it, it don't it don't get old. You just have to keep working. You know, you have to keep producing, and you don't lose until you quit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah. 100%. And that go on with a lot of different things. I could apply that to Life. a lot of different things, man. Mm -hmm. So, man, I mean, how can people get a hold to you if they're trying to reach out to you? Um, Austin Grand underscore official on Instagram, and then uh, yeah, just follow my Instagram, and then you can get through all my links. And then uh, my new EP just dropped. Just type in Austin Grand on Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, Title, whatever, YouTube. And besides that, uh, just stay tuned. Got a lot, got a lot coming, and I appreciate uh, Boss Talk Radio. Woo, Boss Talk One Hundred and One, where the bosses talk. Where the bosses talk. And, Man, uh, thank y'all, and I appreciate it. I'm a boss. I make those big moves. He keep on talking, don't want issues. 
I told my last bitch I don't miss you I'm a bad motherfucker, yeah Back in high school, didn't hit no class, motherfucker I was faded off that gas, getting high, yeah, yeah Let's touch the sky Went to court, but I never testify I've been fighting for my life, nine to five, I can't do it What's more touched than tapping in this music? My last bitch, your boy, you put me through it My bad, my fault, okay, okay I'm known to get a poppin' on around the city, yeah, that's word of mouth I'm a wild white boy from the dirty fucking south, yeah What you heard about me is probably true uh, Fuck that bitch and started acting brand new I'm in her head shampoo, bitch, I'm really like that, yeah I'm in between a beat hi-hat, yeah Said she love me, but I don't believe it Ice my neck, I'm on a wave, it got him seasick I might hit your bitch for the week and then I'm past her Rockstar shit, bitch, call me Mick Jagger Smoking on good gas, I probably feel you with laughter But I ghosted on that bitch, you should nickname me Casper Oh my god, baby, why you trying to get to me? Yeah, why you trying to get to me? I got hits for weeks, hits for days, yeah I'm not in gang, but I affiliate. Yeah, yeah. New jewelry on me, yeah, that's custom made. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bad bitch by me, that's like every day. Yeah, I left my last bitch, and yesterday I turned the page. Uh. Shawty said she loved me, but I know that she lying. Why the fuck she calling? My phone keep on crying. Bitch, I bought you though, Snow. Diamonds, I see you shining, yeah Hey, I'm known to get a check and spend it quick Yeah Chasing cash, never chase a bitch Tick tock, diamonds on me dancing Think I'm handsome, oh, oh In a ghost, yeah, phantom, no Danny Shotty put up in a dress wearing no pennies she get nasty, she get freaky for the boy uh, I'm on a mission, time to search and destroy I'm the coldest white boy since the one from Detroit yeah. Eight mile uh, Yeah, Man, yeah I see, I know how to get him, see <laughs> We do that at the end, man It's gonna be dope, man We're gonna be live, man That's Austin Grand, man He always come through, man Bless Grand the world. platform, man At the end of the day, man We love you, brother I love y'all I man, appreciate y'all If there's anything you ever need from us We always here with just a phone call Or a drive away yeah. So all you have to do is just holler at us, man You got percent Yeah, man and, and, and one, you know If it's anything that we can do That's what we're here for Exactly We love you, brother Love and we know that everything's going to work itself out. All things work together for the good for them that are called, that love God and that are called to, according to his purpose. I think I'm called. I think we're all called to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I appreciate but y'all. do we love God? That was, that was the most yeah. important part yeah. of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All things work together for the good for them that love God. And that are called according to his purpose. So, right. thank you so much. Can I get an amen, Mr. Hey, CEO? Hey, boss man. talk. We're only the bosses talk and Mr. Maker. Hey, hey. <laughs> Holla at your boy, man. It's a unique hustle. Thank we you. out.